What's up, you guys? C.A. Cox 97 here to show you episode 6 of Nerf Gun Reviews. So, pretty much this episode is going to be a bit different because I'm going to review three guns. I'm going to review, of course, the Firefly because I've had several requests for that, and the Night Finder, and the Busby Double Barrel Shotgun. Alright, episode 6. Woohoo! The Firefly. The good about this gun is. One, it shoots glow-in-the-dark darts, which is really helpful when you're in the dark. And here's how it works, all right? So there's this little trigger here. You push this, so then the red light is showing. Then, when you shoot the gun, it makes a little flash of light, which lights up the glow-in-the-dark darts. Another good thing about this gun is it has a really good feeling when you hold it. You hold it so then you have this pad against your shoulder. And then you shoot like this. You reload and shoot. It's pretty good and it's really easy that way. Another good thing, it has a tactical rail. So that's always useful when um, you want to add like lasers and flashlights and stuff. And it also has little pocket thingies over here which carry extra darts. Another good thing is that it has a rotating barrel. So you, it holds eight darts and then you just keep on shooting and it rotates itself. Another good thing is that um, when you're holding it, this reload thing here is pretty easy to pull back. All right, now onto the bad parts of the Firefly. It doesn't shoot super far at all, really. It's, it's kind of sad a bit. Um, it doesn't really shoot that far. Another bad thing is when you hold the gun upside down, the darts can fall out really easily, um, especially when you put it in the pockets. You watch. They all just fall out really easily, so um, be careful and don't hold it upside down like this. Another bad thing is that it's not really a big one, but um, the trigger, you kind of have to pull it back kind of far. So it's kind of hard that way. On to the ranks. Firefly. Type, spring. Weight, 6. Accuracy, 8. Distance, 6. Rank, 7. Alright, now I'm going to shoot the Firefly glow-in-the-dark darts. See the light's on. Uh, it's dark over there, so then we can see the dart. Alright, holding it straight, and... 20 feet. So if that's 20 feet there... Landed around there. 19 feet for the Firefly. Alright, so that was the Firefly. And now we are moving on to the Night Finder. The Night Finder. Pretty handy pistol. Alright, let's start off with the goods. The good is it has a tactical rail. And for reloading, you'll only have to pull this back. Then you can shoot it. Another good thing is... It is not very heavy at all. It's pretty handy, but all pistols are kind of not heavy. And it holds two extra darts for you, which is pretty handy. And another thing is, it has a laser right here. You see, it turns on when you barely pull the trigger at all. Another good thing about the Night Finder is that you don't have to pull the trigger back very far. You barely even have to pull it at all. The bad thing about the Night Finder is that the laser, um, even though you have the laser, uh, it's not very accurate. You can see the laser. I can make it move by pushing the thing back and forth like that. So that's pretty cool. Okay, I'm going to stand behind the camera now. We're maybe a good, we're like six, or, well, I'm like ten feet away from that wall, all right? I'm going to shoot it. Let's see how accurate it is. So now I'm maybe twenty 15 feet away. See how it didn't hit the laser at all? So the laser is really only useful, it, it gives you an idea of where the dart will go. All right, on to the ranks. Night Finder, type, pull handle, weight, eight, accuracy, seven, distance, seven, rank, seven. All right, this is for the Night Finder. So you can see the laser right there. So let's see how accurate it is and let's see how far it shoots. Holding it straight, and one, two, three. All right, well, it didn't go where the laser was. 
it landed somewhere around here. So if that's 25 feet, uh, it's about maybe 23 feet. That's really good. And now the Busby Double Barrel Shotgun. The Busby Double Barrel Shotgun. All right, so the good parts about this is one, it comes with an extra space here so you can store extra shells and darts, which the other shotgun does not have. Another quick thing is that this shotgun shoots way farther than the other one, which I love. Another good thing is that um, once you shoot them, once you shoot your two darts, then all you have to do is press this and it ejects both of the shells like that. I love that part. And then all you have to do is open this back part, put these right in here. And then a cool thing you can do is this. Bam, bam. The first time you shoot the dart, you don't have to pull the trigger back very far at all, see? Don't have to pull the trigger back really far. On to the bad parts of this shotgun. Bad part is, after you shoot the first dart, the second dart, you have to pull the trigger back really far. It's really hard to do that. Another bad thing is, when you're reloading, like this, um, after the shells come out, it's really hard because you have to make an L shape and you have, to, and you hear several clicks till you get it right, and you get it right when it's like in this shape, but it's really hard because you don't want to break it, and um, I don't know if it can break easily or not, so when you're doing this part, be very careful with it. All right, on to the ranks. Busby Double Barrel Shotgun. Type Pull barrel, weight 6, accuracy 7, distance 7, rank 7. Alright, for the Busby double barrel shotgun. Alright, I'm holding it straight. I'm going to shoot both of the darts and see if they um, go the same length. And we'll find a number in between them. You know the drill. Alright, 3, 2, 1. 1. Oh, crap, wow. The first dart landed right in front of 25 feet. So let's go 26 feet for the first dart. The second dart landed over here. So if that's 25 feet, and that's, that's about 28 feet there. So if we have 26 and 28, let's go with 27 feet for the Busby double barrel shotgun. All right, guys, so that is the end of episode six. Now, um, I just want to point out that a lot of you guys keep on leaving me comments saying, please make episode six, please make episode six. I'm, I, I, I have a life and I, I want to enjoy it, so I can't spend every minute of my life making these videos. So I like to relax sometimes. So don't leave me any of those comments because it won't really make me make the video faster, really. Uh, it kind of gets annoying. So just don't leave any of those comments. Just be patient. You can still leave me comments for requests of which guns you want me to review. Another thing is that if you guys didn't um, read the info box in my account part, if you did, you will have found out that I am becoming a huge horror movie fan. Pretty much every 12-year-old boy goes through that. Um, but I am becoming a huge horror movie fan. And I'm going to make a video sometime once I've seen all the all the 80s classic horror movies. And I'm going to tell you what are my top 10 favorite horror movie slasher killers. And um, so far I have seen um, Nightmare on Elm Street 1, 2, 3, Friday the 13th 1, 2, 3, and Halloween. And uh, I've seen uh, maybe a couple others, but um, those are some of the classic ones. And I'm thinking of seeing Texas Chainsaw Massacre sometime. You guys are going to leave me a comment telling me what the scariest movie is you've ever seen. Because I really want to see it. Alright, and this is the end of episode 6, guys. 